employee ownership where you are sharing reward, you're sharing influence, you're creating more sustainable businesses that are highly resilient, more productive, um, are positive for everybody. They're positive for the economy at, at large, they're positive for regions, and they're very positive for the employees because mm. employees tend to, in employment business, have a higher earning potential because of the sharing of wealth through shared reward, yeah. through shared endeavour. What well, I guess, why haven't we seen more of it? Because the tax benefit seems really strong from, yeah. from my limited knowledge. Um, it's it's still an issue of, simple issue of awareness. Okay. So um, this is something which um, has now been going for what, nine years, um, the EOT. Employee ownership, um, getting into the heads and into the ears of SMEs is a really difficult thing to do. So there was, every time a big business becomes employee owned, um, so you might have read about Richard Sounds, the uh, uh, mm. retailer. So Julian Richard transferred 60% of his equity into an employee ownership trust, sold it into the trust. Um, he then rewarded all of the employees with a thousand pounds for every year that they'd worked there. So he right. told the employees about it and they didn't know anything about it. And when they walked out of the room, some of them had suddenly made 20,000 pounds because mm. they'd worked there for 20 years. So you can imagine the, 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 the mainstream media jumped on that and every single, you know, tabloid and broadsheet paper covered that once that happens you suddenly get a, a, a flurry of awareness and more people start more business owners start to inquire about it 